All right, um, I'm going to talk about Voronoi diagrams. Okay, so when you've got a Voronoi diagram, you've got points here that are called sites. So points A, B, and C are sites. The red lines here are boundary lines between A and B. This red line is a boundary between A and C. This red line is a boundary between B and C. So boundary lines, or sometimes they're called edges. And then where all three boundary lines meet is called a vertex. And no matter where you put these points, the boundaries will always intersect at one vertex. Okay. So in order to find the vertex, we really have to do a lot of different steps. So if I know the coordinates of A, B, and C, here are the steps in order to find the vertex. First thing, I need to figure out the midpoint of each site. So uh, these orange dots here, those are the midpoints between each of the sites. After we get the midpoints, I need to find the um, the slopes between uh, those the sites. So I'll need to find the slope of this yellow line, the slope of this line, and the slope of this line. Okay. Once I have the slopes of those lines, I need to figure out what the perpendicular slope is going to be for those lines. Okay. Once I have the perpendicular slope and the midpoint, I can find the equation of the boundary lines, those red lines. So, as I just said, the boundary line can be found using the midpoint and the perpendicular slope. Then lastly, uh, once I have the equation of the boundary line, and if I have the equation of two of the boundary lines, that will give me the intersection called the vertex. Okay. And fortunately, um, so all three boundary lines will always intersect at one point. So I really only need to find two of the boundary lines. And that intersection would be the intersection of all three lines. Okay. So here are the formulas we need. We need the midpoint formula. This is in your IB formula packet. So here's an example. Here's a point A point B, find the midpoint. Okay. You take the um, average of the x values, the 2 and the 6, the average of the y values, the 2 and the 1, and we find our midpoint. Okay. How do I find slope? Rise over run, correct? So y2 minus y1, 1 minus 2, and then over x2 minus x1, 6 minus 2. So my slope between these two points is 1 fourth. Okay, now that I know the slope of this is negative 1 fourth, to find the perpendicular slope, I need the opposite sign and the reciprocal. So the opposite sign is going to become positive, and the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4. So I'm going to be using the midpoint and this perpendicular slope. Okay, so the midpoint and the perpendicular slope is going to give me the boundary line. Okay, those lines that were red. Okay, now um, I'm going to use the point slope equation of the line in order to put in my perpendicular slope and the midpoint. So that perpendicular slope was 4. The midpoint we just used was 4 comma 1.5. I put those into the point slope form equation. Okay. Now we need to convert this to y equals mx plus b. Okay. And I'll explain why we need it in this version in just a minute. So what do I do? I just distributive property with the 4. So then I get 4x minus 16, and now I have to add 1.5 on both sides, and there's my equation of the boundary line. Okay, 
So that gets us one of the boundary lines. So we'll need to go through that process again to get another boundary line. Okay. Now that I've got a boundary line, now that I have two boundary lines, when I end up finding two boundary lines, that would be the same thing as if I had the intersection of three boundary lines, and that would give me the vertex. So let's do an example. What if I have two equations, two boundary lines, and I want to find the vertex? So I need to find the equation. Fortunately, on the IB test, they allow you to use the calculator for both parts. So let's do it with the calculator. So how do I type an equation? I hit y equals, and then I've typed in the equation 3x minus 10 and 2x minus 9. Now to get the intersection, I hit second trace in order to get here. And uh, to find an intersection, I'm going to hit 5 for intersect. And then it says first curve, and it's got the first equation, 3x minus 10. I hit enter. Then it says second curve, and it says 2x minus 9. I hit enter. Then it says guess. I never know why it says guess, but you hit enter again. And then it calculates that my intersection is 1, comma, negative 7. So the vertex is going to be 1, comma, negative 7. I recommend you watch this video a couple of times and you press pause and, uh, and that will help you get through this. Thanks for watching.